Hello, right, friends. So this video is to demonstrate the hands-on part uh, in sales and distribution module that is covered in our accounting information system with SAP course at IBA in spring 2022 semester. So the only thing that we cover is the display of the sales order and the T code for display of sales orders is PA03. So we type the T code and we press the enter key. Uh, so system takes us to the uh, entry screen where we mention the order number. If we don't know the order number, we just press F4 or look for it. So when you look for the order number, keep in mind that uh, uh, you need to, uh, to have uh, mentioned some of the filters or if you want to search blank without any filter, then make sure there is no filter mentioned. So there is, I keep all the filters blank so that I can know how many sales order actually exists in my system. So pressing enter key, it shows there are 22 sales orders which are there in my systems, uh, my system. And this is the relevant purchase order number from the customer side. And the sales order number is actually the document number field, which is somewhere shown here. So this is the document number. So if I want to sort this report on document number, you see when I click, uh, when I take my mouse in this field document, uh, there is a small a space here, if I double click it, it is not sorted right now. And just if I double click it, it will be sorted to the document number. So now I can see that it is actually sorted on the document number field, which is the sale order number. So starting from sale order number one, two, three, and there are 22 sales order. Let's say I want to see sales order number one. So I just double click it. And if I had known the number, I would have typed it directly, sale order number one, and I press enter. And the system takes me to the screen where I can see some of the data related to the sales order. Scrolling up, I, it shows me the sales order number, the net value of the sales order, the total value for which, which, is, which will be received from the customer. Uh, the sold to party, which is the customer ID, shipped to party, most likely they are the same, right? So these are the uh, relevant uh, IDs for the customer. And customer reference, this is the relevant PO number, which is actually the reference document number for from received from the customer. So this is the name of the customer, Beantown Bikes. This is the address of the customer. And moving down further, we see that uh, this is the requested delivery date of the seized order, which was 17, 27th of May, 2016. And this is the total weight and this is the volume. So uh, we can see the input terms and we can see uh, from which location actually this uh, uh, order has to be fulfilled. And this is all the document header part. When we come on to the document line item part, we see uh, that uh, uh, the item number 10, which is actually item number one, is for material DXTR199. So this is the code of the material, right? Uh, for which product this, uh, this particular sale order pertains. And this is the order quantity. So two different products, two different deluxe touring bikes. So this is the description of the material. So it is a sale order for the deluxe touring bikes, two of the bikes and some other data. So they are to be delivered from Miami plant and uh, uh, the net price is $3,000 so 3,000 multiplied by two. So the net value is actually $6,000. So this is how we, we study, we read the entries in the sales order. And then there is one very important field here, important button here, which is the display document flow. So when we go to display document flow, we witness, we can witness that uh, the sale order is the sale order number. We can see all the subsequent actions on the sales order. So subsequent to the sales order, there is no previous history of the sales order. It means there was no uh, request for quotation or inquiry received from the vendor. There is no quotation that we would have submitted. If there is an inquiry in quotation, we can see them as well before the sales order. But uh, here the, actually the, the process starts with the sales order. And then there is a subsequent delivery order issuance. So this is the relevant delivery order number. And after issuance of the delivery order, the order was picked as well. So the warehouse people have also made their part. Then the transportation shipping people have also made their part. G GD goods issue posting, uh, GD goods issue delivery means that the goods have been dispatched to the customer. Then the finance people or the sales people have these invoice as well. And then the corresponding accounting entry for the invoice also exists. So just uh, recall the class discussion that there are two entry points in the sales cycles that integrate with accounting. The first is the GD goods issue when the goods are actually dispatched to customers, we credit inventory and we debit cost of goods sold. And when the invoice is raised, we actually debit account receivable by the, by the selling price and the 
credit of sales by the by the amount of sales that's selling price so this is how we see the document flow so this is the invoice number this is the delivery chalan number so we can also or find these numbers and we can also tunnel into these documents so if i want to see the delivery order for example uh, so i can just double click this so you can see this is the delivery order number i check it and i then i go to display document and the system shows me that this is actually uh, the details of the delivery uh, we are not concerned with the details uh, and entries detailed entries in this particular uh, uh, document let me go back again going back I am calling now the goods issue because the goods issue is integrated with accounting. So we would be able to see the accounting relevant accounting entry in this document as well. So display document. And we see that uh, general in the general information, this is the document date and posting date. And again, two uh, bikes were delivered and these were the finished goods. And in the document info, we can see actually who processed this document, uh, when this document was created and the corresponding FI document button actually takes us to the accounting entry, corresponding accounting entry. So calling the very first document, we will be able to see the accounting entry. So this is the accounting document number, relevant accounting document number, this is the relevant delivery challenge number, delivery order number, sorry. So inventory of finished goods, account number 200100 has been credited with the minus sign and cost of goods sold, account number 7800000 has been debited by 2800. So this is actually the cost part of the entry. Going back, cost, going back again. So going back again and now we call the invoice document. So uh, we can call the invoice document from here, but since we are interested in actually displaying the accounting entry associated with the invoice, so I just click this accounting document which is the accounting entry associated with invoice. So I check it, display document, and the system shows me the accounting entry associated with invoice. So Beantown Bikes, which is the name of the customer, this is the customer ID. We saw this ID in the sales order as well. This has been debited and uh, sales revenue, which is the general ledger account has been credited. So we can see uh, actually this, uh, the header of the, this document as well. We can call the header of this document through display document header which will further show some entries, uh, some details about the document. We go back and this is how we actually make sense of the entries in the sales order and we display the sales order. So there is some other data uh, related to the sales order, which is in the, uh, which is uh, usually there in the organizational uh, data that to which organization this sales order uh, uh, pertains. So, uh, So this is probably the header details, right? So this is actually, this sales order concerns to the sales area UE00. UE00 is the sales organization. WH is the distribution channel and BI is the division. So it pertains to the sales organization, sales department US East. It pertains to the distribution channel wholesale and it pertains to the division uh, or the product segment, which is bicycles. So this is a, uh, we can call from the detail header. Uh, which we actually pushed uh, uh, the detail header button, which is this button in order to call this document and this information. So this is all about the sales order. I hope uh, it made sense and uh, thank you very much.